gentlemen, may I ask you to please stand for the academic procession and remain standing for the Australian National Anthem. Thank you. Seven of them are here with us in person for this event. Accordingly, we wish all graduating students best wishes and good luck in their future endeavours. I would also like to welcome our friends and families from around the world uh, who are able to watch this event streamed live via our UBSS YouTube channel, GCA TV. We currently have 33 countries represented in residence at UBSS, so we believe this event in the future trimesters and years will be watched by many people from all parts of the world. Today is not just a graduation ceremony, it symbol symbolises the point in your life where some of you will successfully enter professional employment and where others will go on to choose 
postgraduate level education. Of course, we invite those wanting to study further to continue with the UBSS family and continue your study with our MBA program, or stay connected at least through UBSS alumni. Whether you are remaining in Australia, going back home or moving to another country to work or to study, whatever path you choose from this day onwards, what you have achieved here today will be the guiding light that helps you achieve your future goals. All of us today recognise how important this event is to you and we hope today is indeed special. To this end, we have located your graduation ceremony at the Sydney Opera House, an icon of Australia known throughout the world. Make sure you get plenty of photos and all the selfies the families really like to see. I'm expecting to see them all on, on YouTube and Facebook. I would like to formally welcome members of the senior management of GCA and UBSS. Mr. Alan Manley, Chair of the GCA Board and our Managing Director. Professor Greg Waitley, who is the Executive Dean and Chair of the UBSS Academic Senate. Welcome also to Professor Wayne Smithson, Program Director, Bachelor of Business Program. Assistant Professor Lou Zhao, Program Director, Bachelor of Accounting Program. Professor Ray Hayek, Program Director, Master of Business Administration. And Associate Professor Andrew West, Foundation Director for the Centre of Entrepreneurship. I would also like to welcome members of the GCA and UBSS faculties and the academic support staff. These people play a huge role um, in everyday life at GCA um, and we remain eternally grateful to them. I would now request our Managing Director, Mr Alan Manley and Chair of the GCA Board to officially open the ceremony and admit the graduates to their program qualifications. Please welcome Mr Manley. Thank you, Sir Jared. Welcome, everybody, and welcome, boys and girls of all ages. I declare UBS's, UBSS's 12th graduation ceremony officially open. As mentioned earlier, it is our hope to create for you a memorable and fitting event to receive your awards. The setting of the Sydney Opera House is ideal for such a celebration. Every time you see it, you'll think of this great day, I hope and in many ways highlights the importance and the significance of this event in your academic career. Would the graduates please stand? I think they are. I have no choice. Right. Thank you for standing, guys. On behalf of the UBSS Academic Senate and Group Colleges of Australia Board of Directors, I admit you to the degrees in which you are qualified. And for those who are unable to attend today, I admit them to their degrees for which they are qualified in absentia. Now, graduates, you can remain standing by the looks of it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Manley. Uh, graduates, the procedure from now on will be that I will call the names of the graduating students uh, individually in the order that they appear in the graduation booklet. When your name is called, would you please come to the stage from where you are sitting or standing. Head to the centre of the stage uh, where you will be presented with your program award. Once you have received your award and had your photo taken, please proceed back across the stage, down the stairs and back to your seat. I now call upon Bushra Iram, Madalena Tresca and Professor Greg Wakeley uh, to assist with the presentations and distributions of the testimures.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will now um, introduce the individual graduates to receive their awards. First graduate is Amamiya. Uh, could you please come forward to accept your award? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, please remember to stay and have your photos taken prior to leaving the stage. The next recipient is Karen Lynn Aguilar. Please welcome Maria Jane Alapio. Please welcome Muhammad Umar Amjad. <laughs> Numa Ashkar. I now welcome Mirza Bila Bag. Okay. Um, Reshma Baral Pudel. Joy Vanessa Bagado. Fadi Dazari. <laughs> Aganisha Kondek. Buddha Garung. <laughs> Sana Asha Hussein. Jenny Inchiong. <laughs> Nina Agatha Inchiong.
Salim Irfan. Jaya Cody, Supran Jaya Cody. <laughs> Subash Kadel. Dan Corala. Okay, I'll just continue on from there. Okay, uh, Naratsara Kajen. Jason Laparan. <laughs> Sun Wung Lee. Joe Harrison Muchene. All right. Okay. Joe Harrison Muchene. So 25, not here. Okay. Mohammed Nushad. <laughs> Ethel Puzalam. Josef Rana. Forget, forget the other ones. Muhammad Sajada. Pema Sherpa. In up Sherpa. Shushma Shretma. Shret 
Norman Siddiqui. We'll now welcome Hamza Razul. Okay. Samja Sapa. Chana Candel. Khaled Yuzair. Diane Venezuela. Zayed Ali. Monim Aftab. Sayan Ahmed. <laughs> Tashering Tamang. Pin Lim Kushit Rana Maga. The next group of graduates, ladies and gentlemen, are rather special to us up here because they happen to be uh, staff members of, of GCA who have undertaken uh, uh, grad postgraduate certificates of business administration. It's great honour that um, I present uh, these individuals for their awards. First one, Yasser Abbas. Scarlett Burns. <laughs> Doris Leung.
James Manley. James. Mm -hmm. um. Carlos Munoz. Sumera Kwazim. <laughs> Kim Shama. Deborah Stabili. <laughs> Richard Z. Ladies and gentlemen, the final graduates are graduates of our Master of Business Administration MBA program. Uh, it is a great honour pr to present these individuals with their MBA. Can everybody be, uh, be a little quieter, please? Jazad Akhtar. Sohab Malik. Asim Aslam. Jessa Bilano. <laughs> Salam Javad. Mohammed Khan. <laughs> Janak Lutel. Sarquip Munea.
Hafez Rekman. Mohammed Zaki. <laughs> Rialu Hutapi. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now presented all degrees to those present at this ceremony. I now ask Professor Greg Whateley, Executive Dean and Acting Chair of the UBSS Academic Senate, to, um, to present the Professor Guth Guthrie Award for Outstanding Achievement. The Professor Guth Guthrie Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement is named after the inaugural chairman of the UBSS Council, the late emeritus Professor Gus Guthrie. It is awarded to the student in the graduating class who has most distinguished himself or herself and demonstrated genuine academic excellence. Today, we present that award to Fadi Darazi. Fadi is a graduate of the Bachelor of Accounting. Fadi, please um, come and receive your award. Fadi, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately our scheduled uh, speaker is unable to be with us today. Uh, however, in his place I will shortly invite Professor Greg Wakeley to deliver the occasional speech. Professor Wakeley completed a Diploma of Teaching with majors in Music and Psychology, a Bachelor of Education, Curriculum Design and Development a Bachelor of Music Education with a Music Education Focus, a Graduate Diploma in Educational Administration with a focus on organisational behaviour, a Master of Education, Assessment and Evaluation, and a Doctorate in Virtual, in virtual Pedagogy. Throughout his academic career, he has maintained a keen interest on how and why people learn. Dr. Wakeley has taught and administered in four states of Australia, Victoria, Tasmania, Queensland and New South Wales, and four countries including Japan, Singapore, uh, Hong Kong and the Maldives. In the Maldives, uh, in thanks for his contribution to security education, he was given an honorary title of police superintendent. Greg's teaching areas include, include teaching pedagogy, human behaviour, organisational leadership, organisational behaviour, critical management, qualitative research methodology, music history and form. Professor Whiteley is currently the Executive Dean at UBSS, uh, part of the Group College's group of companies, researching and writing in the areas of quality management, and equality and teaching in the areas of management and leadership. 
He is the author of more than 250 external publications and advises and consults in areas of accreditation, quality assurance, government reporting, e-learning, m-learning and b-learning. He is currently a member of the editorial board for the International Journal of Innovation, Creativity and Change. He is a reviewer of the British Education Research Journal. He is a member of the academic board of the Asia Pacific International College, a member of the academic board of the Australasian College of Health and Wellness, an acting chair of the acting senate of UBSS, and a director of Group Colleges Australia. Greg is also a fellow of the Institute of Management. Would you please welcome Dr. Greg Wakeley to the stage? Thank you, Sir Gerard, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I love graduations. I've said it out loud and I'll say it again, I love graduations. And I love them for two reasons. The first reason is that it's a wonderful celebration of success. So all the people sitting in front of us or beside us or in front of me are successful people. They've taken on a challenge and they have achieved their goal. One of the graduates said to me on the stage that uh, it took him six years to get this degree because he did some English, I think, and then diplomas and so forth. And to me, that represents success. Because success doesn't simply mean that whatever you do the first time you win and you're the best at. Success is actually having a goal and succeeding. The other reason that I love graduations, there are many, but my second main reason for liking graduations is because we can dress up. There are very few places in uh, Australia that I can wear this and not be ridiculed. And this is one of those places. I remember many years ago interviewing on radio the Archbishop of Leeds in the UK. He was in Australia. And I was a pretty bad interviewer and my radio show wasn't very good, so I couldn't really think of too many questions. And the first question that blurted out of my mouth was, um, what's the best part of the job? And uh, he paused for a moment. He's a wise old guy. He looked at me and said, I love dressing up. I know the challenges of studying internationally. And I know the challenges of studying in a second language. So I have nothing but admiration for the people sitting here wearing their colours today who have been successful in a language not necessarily their first. Now that is an achievement. I had three international experiences of my own. The first was in the UK and I've I imagine you're thinking, well, they speak English. Well, they do. They speak real English, not Australian. And uh, I was the uh, brunt of a lot of, lot of uh, criticism and humour at the time. I think they referred to me as Skippy. I don't know whether it was with affection or not. But anyway, I have lifelong friends from Cambridge that I'll never forget. But uh, it was a foreign language to me because I didn't speak it very well. My second experience was truly in a foreign language, uh, University of Florence in Italy. Uh, for some bizarre reason, I had a year of study there, and I still don't know why I did it, but I did. And I remember, and you may have had similar experiences to mine, I remember about two weeks we lived in a dormitory in uh, Florence. 
and uh, where students lived. And uh, I remember sitting on my bed about two weeks in thinking with my hands in my head, uh, on my head, what am I doing here? I don't understand anything. Now, I spoke a bit of Italian, but not that good. But I have to tell you, at the end of the year, I topped my class. And I gave my presentation, verbal presentation, in Italian, no, thank you very much. The professor said my accent was terrible, but the content was good. My third experience of uh, studying in a foreign language where English wasn't the first language was the United States, because they don't speak English. They have um, a variation of their own. And uh, I studied in uh, Cambridge, uh, in, uh, in Harvard, and um, they speak their own dialect of American. So I kind of know how you feel. I kind of know how you feel, and I admire that. It's very interesting, isn't it, that, um, that all the studies today, most international studies, even in places like China, are often conducted in English, which is our fundamental or first language, not necessarily yours. So why is that? What made English so special? Well, when I left school, which was more than 40 years ago, uh, the only way I could get into the university of my choice was if I had either mathematics or a language. That was the deal. So when I was in about year nine, I realised that if I wanted to get to the university, which I did, of my choice, I needed either maths or language. Now, I have to tell you, my mathematics was woeful, and it still is. Uh, by the way, somebody invented a calculator which solved all my problems in life, but that's a separate point. So the only language available at the school to which I attended was Latin. So... I'm actually reasonably fluent in Latin, believe it or not, but it's a problematic language in that nobody else speaks it back to you, except, I'm told, it's the official language of the Vatican in Rome, which is handy if I ever go to the Vatican, I can say, vale, and, uh, you know, keep up the good work. What actually happened when I went to university was, they said, forget about Latin, the new international language will be either French or Esperante, which is a mix of a whole bunch of things. Well, they were wrong. They said, if you want to be an international student, and that's what I wanted to do, you needed to learn French. So I took, in first year, French. Terrible, terrible. Useful sometimes. If I go to a French restaurant in Paris, you know, I can get through the menu, but that's about it. So what actually happened? Well, three people changed the course of literacy and English history. And those three people need to be acknowledged. The first one was Madonna. The second one was Paul McCartney. And the third one was the late Michael Jackson. How did they change history? Well, when I started travelling with my French overseas, everybody I met in Italy and uh, Yugoslavia and France and in Germany would say, do you know the Madonna song, Like a Virgin? And I'd say, yes. Could you explain it to me? So those three people are the people responsible for you being here in Sydney studying with us in English. Don't forget to thank them from time to time. A little bit hard to thank uh, Michael, but uh, you can still buy his albums. As you were lining up earlier this morning, I gave you a small gift, perhaps an insignificant gift, Mm, maybe not. It was, in fact, a specially cast UBSS badge. And I noticed some of you were wearing it. Now, there's a reason for giving it to you. It's a very simple gift, but a very powerful gift. 
you're about to go and do your thing, whatever that thing is, whether it's accounting, whether it's business, MBAs, you can do anything you want, anything you want. As you wander around the planet, you should wear that UBSS badge, whether it's on your jacket or whether it's on the top of your dress or whatever you're wearing. You should wear it because there are two reasons. One of them is you should be very proud of, one, of being a student or a graduate of one of the best business schools in Australia. The second thing is you will, over the next 10 years, meet somebody else who's wearing that badge. And it may be not somebody you know, because there will be thousands following you from today. So when you're in London, after a hard day in the office, you go out for a drink at a bar, and there standing on the edge is someone wearing the UBSS badge, and you have found a friend. You have found a colleague. So be proud of that. In your little bags that you were given, there's a uh, form that uh, Professor Hayek created, which is an invitation to join the UBSS alumni. You should join it. You should join it. Finally, first of all, can I express on behalf of all the staff and supporters of UBSS our sincere best wishes for your future. My recommendation to you is plan ahead, but be prepared for all the possibilities because life is not a straight line. It's sometimes a jagged line, it's sometimes a circle, it's sometimes falling off a cliff, it's sometimes climbing up. Plan, but be open to the possibilities. And the other thing I highly recommend to you is that you have, make sure you have a full life. A full life means you have friends, you have family, you do fun things, you enjoy life, and you work hard but you need a combination of all of those things. And finally, the last piece of advice I give to you, which I give to all graduates, very, very simple, but probably the most important thing I ever share with you, my advice is work hard and be good to your mother. Thank you, Professor Waitley. Um, I now call upon Fadi Dazari to um, deliver the vote of thanks. Fadi. Um, thank you, Sir Jared. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm honored to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of my fellow graduates and for myself as well. I would like to start with a very special thanks to the Dean Professor Greg Blakely for conferring and presenting um, our awards. And thank you, Sir Jared, the Master of Ceremonies, and to Madalena for your hard work to make this ceremony I'm a success today. Thank you to the program directors, Lou and Wayne, who have always believed in me. And help me um, grow as a person. I also want to thank Josana for being the nicest and funniest academic coordinator. And, um, sorry. And a big, big, big thanks to all the wonderful lecturers. I can see Nilima here, um, Sayed, Nisha, and so many others as well, um, for your effort and dedication who helped us all achieve what we have achieved today. I also want to thank my family and friends, and especially on my family and parents in Lebanon who couldn't make it today. I think they're watching us now live. Just want to say hello to them. Um, and I wish they were here with us today. 
So I'll just keep it short because I know it's kind of hot in here and everybody just want to go out there and throw out the hats in the air because at least that's what I really want to do. I've been waiting for it since I was a kid, uh, so I can't wait for this moment. Um, I'm just really glad to see all of your happy faces today, celebrating our achievements and the most famous Australian icon in, in the Opera House. I couldn't be any more proud. And I probably don't know all of you, but I probably have met a lot of you in class, and you know we kind of know each other. But, hi. And um, I think that most of us have gone through the you know similar things in our journey at UBSS. We kind of you know were running away from deadlines and uh, you know, panicking just before an assignment is due, and we only get motivated, you know, the, the night is due, or maybe two nights before. Um, or how many times we actually came to class late and our excuse was, you know, it was raining, or the train was delayed, or I don't know, I was speaking to my grandma over the phone that I haven't spoken to her in like two years. Um, so we also got very stressed out during exams, and obviously when you live with someone, you kind of transfer that stress and that pressure around you. And so I'm sorry if I've done that to, you know, some of my friends or my family members. When I had exams, it's like everybody had exams in the, in the house. And um, of course, most of us almost, you know, sometimes gave up because of, you know, certain hardships that we went through. But thankfully, we never did. And we were strong enough to actually continue and persevere and achieve what we have achieved today. And the way we, you know, some of us made friendships at UBSS is because of group studies, I believe, which most of us did. And uh, we met, you know, people from all around the world, different cultures. We tried different food, uh, maybe learned how to say thank you in uh, different languages. And talking about group studies, I'd like to share a very little story that happened with me and um, with Sushma. So um, one, one, we used to study together all the time, and one day it was, you know, during the finals, one day before the taxation law final exam, I was studying with her, and, you know, we're very good studying all day. Then at night, you know, it was dinner time, and uh, her husband decided that it's a good idea to have some wine with dinner the night before the exams. So we actually, you know, it was like, all right, we're going to have some wine, but we ended, ended up having a little bit more than some. And, you know, obviously, we kind of got drunk. So the next day, we woke up with a very bad hangover. We have the exam the same day. We're like, we're just going to have some coffee now, and we just have no other choice. We have to go do the exams. And thankfully, we went. We did it. We sat there. And what I learned is that, you know, if you are hungover and you go do an exam, it's just fine. But we just never did it again, OK? And I don't recommend, I don't recommend it to anyone. Um, so, um, as I said, I'm just going to keep it short. I just want to say that it's not over. Today is just the beginning, the beginning of a new adventure. Hold on to your dreams and be passionate about what you want to do in your life. And believe in yourself, work hard, as Professor uh, Waitley said, and nothing will be impossible to achieve. Well done to everyone. Congratulations. And we did it. Thank you. Thank you, Fadi, and, and congratulations to you on your two achievements this, this afternoon, or this morning still, um, your normal degree and, and um, achieving the Gus Guthrie Award. Congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavours. Ladies and gentlemen, um, and viewers, because everybody's watching it via GCA TV, this concludes the awarding of the program awards, the Professor Gus Guthrie Award and the speeches. And thus concludes the formal ceremony as such. As soon as this event concludes, all graduates, please make your way down to the lounge level. That's where you were dressed up in all your gowns. Um, and then walk down the stairs 
um, for your group photo with the magnificent um, Harbour Bridge as your backdrop. That photo has become quite famous all around the world, and as I travel and visit our agent networks in various countries, I often see the picture on their walls of some of the students that have come through our colleges and had that picture taken. So please go ahead and, and get it done. Enjoy your, yourself. Drinks and canopies will be served for everyone at the conclusion. Please stay with us and celebrate today's graduates. If you would all now stand, please, for the departure of the academic profession. Uh, the staff will recess first, followed by our graduates. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great morning. I think the biggest lesson is the professionalism because the way the teachers taught us and all the friends that I made in, in college. It's not only about the education itself, the degree itself, it's also about the experience, about meeting people, about learning about people's uh, lives, personalities, different cultures, backgrounds, etc. I enjoy like uh, meeting new friends from different countries and of course the lecturers, they are very helpful to me and as well as the uh, a good experience in UBSS because they help you a lot in your studies. People uh, around from different world, part of the world that was pretty much amazing and the uh, teachers were really nice and understanding about what we are going through like, as a second language students. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Be brave and don't be afraid uh, you're studying at overseas and because of they speaking in English and your, your language is different. It will, in the end, you will learn and obviously you will be a professional at any, anything, you know. Australia offers to uh, everyone opportunities and you can definitely have one too. If it is your dream, just come over, try it, give it a try because it's really worth it. The, 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 reward, the rewarding feeling is really good. I'm going to pursue my degree of Master of Professional Accounting. So after then I'm going to go for CPA, which is Certified Accountant. So I'm looking for future very bright, so I'm very hopeful for that. UBSS is really good at that, giving us the chance to, to evolve as, you know, as persons, not only as students.